At the end of this video, you're going to learn how I create a viral Fulham FC YouTube intro in minutes. And this is going to help you make money in the future if you want to help companies upgrade their social media video intros this video is going to be for you so let's get started i don't want to waste your time let's just get straight to it so the first thing we're going to be doing is to bring in the shape i'm going to bring it to my timeline and we have it here it's super easy to change ratio which is the first thing we want to do change the ratio want to make it 16 by 9 Yes, it's important to make it 16 by 9. And then I'm also going to reduce this so that I can see more of the borders outside because I'm going to be using more of that. And then I will reduce this also. So the first thing I want to do is to go on to max and then click on horizontal max. So that's the first step. I'm going to move that to 90 degrees. 90 we'll go back to basic so now we have the shape as you can see we have the shape so we're going to take it out of frame like that you can see that line make sure you're sticking to that line and now this is where the magic starts and you know for animation you need keyframe right so we're going to hit on keyframe we're going to be using keyframe and markers this is a markers here we're going to be using keyframe and markers and i'm going to be telling you why you need markers so now for the first keyframe, which is out of frame, we're going to hit transform. Right, so we have that. Then we move our playhead to somewhere here. And then we'll drag this like so. So that will be the first movement. Everything is supposed to happen super fast. And while it's moving here, we'll move it one more time like so so now that i have that circle one i'm now going to go back to max and turn on keyframe yes now keyframe is turned on this is where we want this to increase cool then we'll go back to basics once again we are going to drag okay but before we drag make sure you move your playhead to somewhere here yeah, because we want it to happen fast right so now we are going to move it completely to this side of the screen go back to max and then make this complete full blown like that just like that so now we did something wrong here we're supposed to move and make it let's click on max i will make it max like that so let's see if it plays properly or not so let's play it so you see it plays well that's the first stage the next stage is to see where it gets to this middle that'll be here right okay and this is where we want our fc to appear so now on this part i'm gonna put in let me see a little Good. So usually what I would do for this case is to come to text and just bring in a line. Right, let me bring in text. Don't worry, it will be done as soon as possible. So default text. Let me go to, let me click on that. So we have text. So I'm just going to do control right. So this line is just basically to have that midpoint. I want to see where I add that flow because I want everything to happen at the same time. So I'm just going to let me hit, just going to move it slowly. So now I'm going to move this line closer to the box and then i'm going to bring in from here this point i'm going to sharply now go back to text bring in the text i want to use for this so for this one it's going to say in capital letters f f c so 
that's Fulham FC, right? So Fulham FC, you can change the font if you don't like that one. If you want it to have a bolder font, you can change it to like, for instance, this particular font. I like this font. So we have it and it says Fulham FC, right? But then look at what happened here. I want it to come from beneath this, right? So I'm going to move this to the top like so because I want this to be beneath it. So I'm just going to hide this for the meantime. So I'm going to hide it and I'm going to create a first keyframe for this here. So we're basically using keyframe for everything, transform keyframe. So this is the first and this just here is where we move it to this point just here and we have the second keyframe, right? So now if we go back, right, if we go back or we'll show this now, as you can see, it's almost too far from this box, right? So instead of me going back, what I'm just going to do is I'll add a keyframe to this basic and I'll just move this box just a little bit backwards like this just like this so automatically it adds that extra keyframe for us so now we're going to get rid of this particular one we don't need it again that was what we needed the marker for so this is how it's gonna look we're almost done perfect so that's how it looks then we are just gonna add one more thing where the fc appears just there we want the fc to be appearing and then we want the graphics to also appear so now we are just gonna add a marker here we're just gonna add marker here so now we're just going to double tap and rename it FC beginning. So I'll just do FFC shows. Now that's first. So done. So where that marker is, I'm going to bring in the TV. I'm going to add another text again. And that one is going to say TV. Okay. It's going to be right on top with this red box. Stick with me. It's not long. We're almost done. So we're just going to do T. V, right once again we'll change that to it's flexi and move it on top like so okay perfect we can increase it but instead of increasing it what i'm just going to do is i'll add a keyframe to where it appears like that i'm just going to move it a bit to the front like so and then I'll increase the scale just like that perfect I'll also do it one more time just to increase the scale again good so now that we have that the next thing we want to do is bring in a phone animation to just make it look super cool while I bring in the animation I'll just go back. So this is the animation I want to bring in is 12 seconds. So I'll bring in this animation. We don't want it at the bottom. We want it at the top and not starting in the beginning. We want it to start somewhere here. So we're just going to do control B, delete this part. And we'll try and make it faster. So we can actually just undo ctrl z ctrl z again i like to show you every part of this and instead we'll just increase the speed increase the speed instead because we want the full animation to happen right so we're just going to increase the speed and let's increase it more than that so everything is going to happen super first but first let's get rid of the background pg remover 
chroma key and let's pick out the green so let's pick out the green like that perfect so now we want it to appear where do you have the marker this is where you have your marker right so we'll just put it somewhere here move that there and we'll make it smaller we don't want it big we make it smaller once again we are going to add white please all this animation we are just going to add a keyframe go to basics transform keyframe yes and we're just going to move it we don't want it to happen too fast so we're just going to move it to this edge move it to the top like this perfect so now what is going to happen is going to play and it's going to hit that ball down like that So for this part, while it forms again, we'll do another keyframe and bring it down there. So let's see where it shows the ball. Good. Perfect. Right? So it's perfect. Perfect. So we're just going to bring that up a bit. Okay. So let's bring that up a bit so that the ball actually appears on the line just like that so let's take that up a bit just somewhere here yeah. good so let's see how it appears perfect so now that's just the appearance we want then we can cut everything so do ctrl a and just do ctrl b and delete everything at the back so now if we go over and play it from the beginning this is what we'll get perfect so to, to do the final stage we want to make the animation smooth right so let's start with this let's show keyframe animation we're just going to do something really simple not complicated so let's increase this so that we can see it clearly. Let's not overdo that. So let's start with scale. I'm not sure we add any keyframe from scale, but we add for for this, right? So we're just all we need to do is just to make, use the autograph we have. So you can see is in. We have is in. It's going to show another graph at the top. If we close this and just move this to the top we see we have that graph so we just do auto curve for the first one we have the auto curve for the second one auto curve third auto curve and the last to we'll do the auto curve perfect so now it's going to be smoother we can do it for the y2 for the y we have the graph once you click on is in, it's going to show you the extra graph. So you can now hit very close this, hit on that. Auto curve, like I showed you in the last one. So now that we are done with those two, we can just close high keyframe graph. And the other thing we had keyframe graph for was this, right? So it's just two. So we'll just show keyframe animation. So let's click on this. Y. Two. That's good. So now we just hit on that. Okay. So we would have started with the first keyframe, right? We would have started on the first keyframe. Which was this one. And we'll do auto call for that too. Right? This part is not complicated, it's just to make your animation super smooth. Just to make your animation super smooth. That's what's going on. And then you do it for 
this too. That's all for I did. And then go on play from beginning. And this is what we get. So you see how cool it is. I'm sure you are looking at it and wondering why. I'm sure you're looking at it and wondering why is it not placed in the middle. So all you just need to do is just to you can actually leave it the way it is, it does not matter because you're gonna get the black box out anyways and position it well. But if you want to do something different, you can just you know just control A. Control A from this panel and just move everything to the middle. Like so. Perfect. So you see the line. So that's good. So now everything is going to move because we have keyframe here. So now if we go back and play it, this is how it's going to look because we just added that extra keyframe at the end to move everything together. So this is going to look. Perfect. So that's how to do it. It's not complicated at all.